Good morning, great Nigerians. Good morning, all well wishers. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the spokesperson of the family of Beatrice Umbwa Odudu. I am here for a very sensitive technical and a way out for any permanent solution that is needed by the grace of God. I would like to draw your attention to four very important cardinal points. Number one, in the first voice note, that is the official statement from the family of Beatrice Umbua Odudu, you can remember vividly that I said in that voice note that the family of late Beatrice Umbua Odudu is a Christian family. The word Christian that is used is not a nomenclature as an artificial rope that somebody puts on his neck. It means we are practicing Christian, we believe in the ways of Christ, and we accept that Christ is the pattern of life and example and integrity and character that we must live by. Take note of that. The number two point also, I also established that I, the spokesperson of Beatrice Umbua Odudu family, is a pastor. And what I mean as a pastor is that I stand fully on the fullness and likeness of Christ Jesus as my practicing ethics on my life on the planet Earth. Number three, in the first verse note, I also emphasized that the family of Beatrice Umbua Odudu is a peaceful family and we want peace for all Nigerians and peace for everybody. Number four, in the first voice note of 27th of uh, uh, May, of April, 27th of April, 2023, I also emphasize that before the family came to the conclusion of making a voice note to mention Mr. Andy, alias Ambassador Dr. Joe Shafat is because the family has given a space of a long time on which issues can easily be reconciled by humility with the force of unity because peace is our hallmark. So the voice note of 23 23rd of April 27, uh, 23, would, uh, uh, 27th of April 2023 would have not been necessary if the door of peace on which was instituted and agreed was met. So I am saying here that it is important you, the Nigerians and the entire public be able to read in between my lines of communication and discover that we are not putting a fight. We are only mending fences for peace to be enjoyed with everybody that is related to the peace. On the basis of these four cardinal points I have placed, I would like to establish here 
that most of my languages in the voice note of the 27th of April and in the voice note of the 27th of May have always been either proverbial statements, traditional adages, parables, or idiomatic expression, which the main communication of the subject that surrounds all those expressions needed somebody who is very intelligent, very analytical, to be able to grab important points on which are drafted out as a communication gadget from the Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family. And by the time you now grab them, you will understand we are one of the most important peaceful family we will never want any fight. Go through the analogies that was presented on the 27th of April in 2023 voice note that is official for the first time. You will discover that I was creating some points that we need intelligent people who are also who may be also around Joseph Art and also around people that are around Joseph Art to be able to give him the right platform on what to do. There is always one statement that is emphasized in the broadcast that Ambassador Dr. Joseph Art knows the right thing and let him do the right thing now. I didn't want to give him a proper interpretation on what is the writing. I didn't want to go further to teach him what should be done. But I think that as time goes on, there comes to a point where somebody can be guided. Now, if you look critically, you will discover that Ambassador Dr. Joe Shafat was misled by wrong advisors. I want to come again. He was misled by wrong advisors because I seem to be the anchor point on which God has raised to put an end to the disagreement he has with my immediate family and set a path for both families to relate and live with each other. Because Referring back to my statement, I said earlier that Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family is a peaceful family and it's a Christian practicing family and I am a pastor. That tells you that there is no sin that cannot be forgiven because Jesus forgive all sins. There is no mistake that cannot be corrected because God is a solution to every problem. As long as it's going to bring peace, as long as it's going to bring prosperity, as long as it's going to be bring unity, it is my responsibility to be able to talk to my immediate family and then to see a way Ambassador Joseph Hart and my immediate family and both the extended family come to the point where one person can tell other you are forgiven. This one can tell the other, I am sorry. And then this matter has finally come to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a case in hand in 2007 that I want to refer to. My immediate elder brother was knocked by a vehicle right at Calabar and I'm in my base. He was not in front of a police checkpoint. And the moment the driver knocked him, he died on the spot. The police arrested the driver, took the corpse of my elder brother, my immediate elder brother, to the police station and immediately took his phone and started looking for numbers and they got me. So the moment they called me, 
and told me, please come to Calabar immediately. There is an incident that is very important. My dad was alive and my dad, my mom is also alive. And the moment I told them to give me the next 24 hours that I'm going to get there, I landed in Calabar. They showed me the corpse of my elder brother. They showed me also the driver that knocked him. And the police asked me, what should be done now? I shocked the whole world. I shocked the entire police station. I shocked the DPO. I asked them, release the driver. Give me my brother's corpse. Let me take him to the mortuary. I don't want a case. I don't want the trouble that this driver may fall into an accidental discharge that what happened to him may not be traced to whatever is going on here by this reason no matter what i do my elder brother cannot return back to life no matter what i do to the driver i will just be punishing him so because of that I have decided to take the path of forgiveness. I want to forgive the driver. I want to take my elder brother to the mortuary and take him for burial. Code, case, close. No documentation, no other information. From 2007 that I did that in the police station till today, I have not asked where is the driver, where is his family, and I didn't collect one cobo from the driver, now that it is in record to today. And my father was alive. When my father heard the G's, my father now called me. What did they say you do? My son was killed, and you tell the driver to go. And for your information, my father is a retired military officer. He served the Nigerian army for 35 years and retired. So you know the voice of a military man. I told my father, this is not a matter of what to do to the driver. God forgive me my own trespasses and it is my own duty to extend forgiveness to any opportunity that I have. And that is what I have done. My father took one week to agree with me, but finally has no option and asked me, to take my elder brother for burial. And we all went to the village, the same Olong, and we put my brother on the ground. Till today, the family has that record of how that incident happened. Why am I telling you this story? Ladies and gentlemen, I've just come to establish that I have not seen any sin that cannot be forgiven. I have never seen any mistake that cannot be corrected. I have also have never seen any situation that cannot have solution. So it means that right from my heart, I have already discussed with the family and I have told the family that whatsoever surrounds the issue of Dr. Ambassador Joseph, please, I beg all of you in the name of Jesus, Let's forgive him, forgive everybody, and reconcile the family together. And this was what the family was expecting to ratify at that invitation that Jehoshaphat was supposed to come with his relatives and come with uh, the lawyers. Jehoshaphat missed it because bad advisors must have given him a wrong advice. Dr. Ambassador Jehoshaphat, I have returned back again as a pastor. I have returned back again as a spokesperson of the Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family with this slogan, no fight continues forever every fight has an expiring date and one danger with fight it is either you the fight expire or the fight will expire by missing people 
We have already lost late Beatrice Umbwa Odudu, and we will not want to lose anybody. Again, we will also not want to lose you. We will also not want to miss anybody in your family. We are not people that are interested in blood sucking and killing. We are a peace loving Christian family. I want to charge you. It is important. You take the bull by the horn. Return back for a second missionary journey. And clean this slate of peace once and for all. I am addressing this matter from the platform of a pastor because I believe that the greatest character a pastor should portray on the planet Earth is peace, love, unity, reconciliation, togetherness, and oneness. And I have just come to put the ball back at your court that everything has not spoiled yet. We draw back from bad advisors. We draw back from those who don't wish you well, as I said in my first voice note. We draw back from those who don't know how to reconcile people. Come back to this family. You already have somebody here who can be able to lie down for the entire family and ask them to forgive you and forgive everything so that we can move on. Dr. Ambassador Joe Shabbat, like I said, I will not want to disclose my identity. All I know, I'm the spokesperson of Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family. And I have watched around and discovered that for a very long time that we want this matter to end. It seems there are no bam of giblet. It seems there are no wise people around. It now looks as if some are interested in continuing to hit the head of the family and put the family in this area, both yourself and uh, my immediate family, and they continue to feed on the misfortune and continue to feed on separation and problem. And I have come here to say we cannot allow the devil to continue. We cannot allow his agents to continue to strive. We must take the bull by the horn. And peace is eminent now. Ambassador Dr. Jehoshaphat, peace, olive branch, has arrived again. In 24 hours, there can be an end of the whole saga. Like I said in my voice note of May 27th of 2023, it is an upgraded version of the first voice note of April 27th of 2023. The voice note of May 27th established that if there is any document that carries the name of Beatrice Umbwa Odudu for any activity, let us see the documents. Whoever is captured in that document, we will give you our blessing. So I want to say here that if that document appears to the family and there is need for Dr. Ambassador Jehoshaphat to be captured in that document or any other person to be captured in that document in order for a permanent peace to reign, I will take the peace reconciliation project to the next level by bringing all of you together and use only five minutes and put an end to this crisis. And I tell you, it is the virtue and the joy of my late sister to see that peace is achieved, to see that unity and love is achieved. Beatrice Umbwa Odudu is a good woman. Beatrice Umbwa Odudu is a loving woman. Beatrice Umba Odudu, it is peace woman. I was born to meet her and she nursed me. And I grew up to look at her and call her mother. So I will not want to do anything that will offend her. The same way also the family of Beatrice Umba Odudu respect her so much 
and will not want to do anything that of, uh, will offend her. And I am sure, Ambassador Dr. Joe Shafat, you should also not want to do anything that offend her. So in the post of that, let's arrive at a point where we will please her, please the entire boat families, please the whole Nigeria, so that we can move from here. So I hereby establish two points in this official voice note of Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family. Point number one, Dr. Ambassador Joshua Fat. The olive tree for the second chance is offered to you. If you come in the next 24 hours, if you reach us in the next 24 hours, it's a minor issue. And as you are taking the olive tree, beware that bad advisors spoil the first game. Don't give them a chance to spoil the second one. And as you lift up the olive tree, I want you also to beware that the family that you are meeting is more peaceful than peace. And with the help of my mediatric activities, I have already talked to the entire family to please give you an opportunity for reconciliation and peace. And the late Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family of Osaipa in Evaka and uh, 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 Inolom of Eastern Boki in Cross River State will want to be recorded as the branch that God used to put an end to this unity, an end to fighting, an end to struggling, an end to confusion. We are ready for peace. We are ready for you. We are ready to put an end to every catastrophe. I will also want to add to this voice note, any human being born of a woman who is feeding on the disunity of this family, you are not of God. Any human being born of a woman who is not flowing into the path of reconciling Ambassador Dr. Joe Shafat with the existing family members of Beatrice Umbo Odudu is not of God. The only path for God here now is peace. And the only path for God here now is the peace of the family, the peace of Nigeria, the unity of Nigeria, the progress of Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, as I summarize, fellow Nigerians, we are here. And it is the joy of every Nigerian to see that we have we have a fresh breath and we have a renewed hope. And I am sure that the voice of the vision of the president, uh, president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, whose mission is for renewed hope, will also want to see how hope is renewed using this family if, necess if there is necessity. So I hereby charge also whoever is possessing any document that reflects our sister's name. Don't be afraid. Don't be worried. Whatever is in that document, the Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family is ready to step down and adjust themselves. And they, I'm sure the Dr. Uh, uh, Ambassador uh, Joseph family also want to step down and come together in unity, in peace, to ensure that prosperity is achieved. Tonight or this morning is a bad luck for enemies of peace. This morning is a bad mission for those who are interested in feeding on the misfortune and the calamities of others. This morning is a glory, just opportunity and a joy to heaven and to earth and to Jesus Christ and to the Holy Spirit that peace is here again. So 15th of June, 2023. I put it on record that Dr. Ambassador Joseph Hart and the entire family of Beatrice Umbwa Odudu is willing to hold the olive branch of peace and then to create a platform where the whole families and all those that are involved will be able to drive their vision with a conclusion. This is the desire of God, and this is my stand as the official spokesman, and this is the stand of the 
Beatrice Mbwa Odudu family. And I wish also that this should be the stand of Ambassador Dr. Jehoshaphat. Thank you and God bless you all.